welcome to Green Racer Reviews. Today I'm going to be installing some ground effect lights on my 2000 ZL440. Here's some of the things that you're going to need for this process. Alright, so for this task we are going to need LED strip lights, connectors, liquid electrical tape, wire strippers, switches, and of course chose green, some connectors for the switches, a battery because we don't have a power source on the snowmobile and I would prefer to have a 12 volt power source some heat shrink tubing some butt splices a heat gun some power wire and that should be it oh and of course we need a snowmobile to work on so let's get to it we are going to be putting some some lights under the tunnel here probably gonna do a u-shape around then I was thinking of some right here and probably some of these hood vents. Probably won't do all of the hood vents because that will just be a lot of strips and sections. And then probably a section down and around the front. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so after much frustration of trying to figure out these connectors and why they would not work with these waterproof strips with this silicone on here, turns out that I had to melt some of the waterproof connector and retrim all of these cut points for the connectors because they say to cut it on that line, but if you cut it on that line, then you can't slide the strip into the connector to close the connector because then you don't get the connection because then the strip is in the way. The, or the, the, di the LED diode is in the way. So I had to re re recut all of these right on the other side of a diode so that would mean cutting it right right there right there's where I would cut it so I would have enough strip to slide into here and then I took my soldering iron and melted some of this waterproofing down so they would fit and work And so I have to test each one to make sure it works, and it does. Only flickered there because of the connection with the wires. So then, since I compromised the waterproofing after I get them done, then taking the liquid electrical tape and sealing them up so then they are more waterproof than they would have been. I don't even know that th these connectors are waterproof, but I would rather be safe than sorry. Focus. So that's, that's where I am. So I have all my strips cut to length. So now I'm going through and very frustratingly getting each one of these done. And try not to forget which strips I have cut for which sections. So once I get all that done, then I'll come back and let you guys see what's going on. And then I wanted to make a side note that these are not for trail use. These were for show only. And that most states are probably illegal anyway to use these on the trail. So don't use them on a trail. I'm not going to. I'm going to use them for just to show off to say hey look at these cool green lights on my sled or when i'm getting gas at the gas station at night i can i'll flip them on so it's like hey look at that cool green sled over there that's about the only reason that i'm putting them on there just so it looks cool so you know somebody comes over when i show them my sled be like hey check this out there it is look at that so that's the only reason i'm doing this it's not for trail riding it's it's just to have some really cool lights just wanted to throw that in there as a side note. All right, and uh, so on, on this one, I wanted to try not melting it with the soldering iron. So I just cut it with the utility knife. And I tried sliding it in there without cutting it at all. So after I recut these with longer ends, 
But then this little door, focus, still wouldn't snap shut because it's too thick with that silicone or whatever it is they got on there. So, so then I just took the utility knife and cut it and then it, it, it worked out, but I still don't really like it. I liked it a little bit better with a soldering iron, but then with a the soldering iron, it it smokes and it stinks and just nasty all around. So I think I'll just finish the last couple of these and then get them coated with the liquid electrical tape. So here's a good use for your bench grinder uh, safety shield. Use it for a liquid electrical tape drying rack. <laughs> All right, so this turned into a multiple day project. I wasn't able to finish it uh, all in one day like I had hoped for, which is fine. I don't mind. So today, finally, lighting is done. Glad to hear it. All right, so I will show you um, how I ran the strips and then how I did some of the electrical and should then show you what it looks like all done. All right, so here's where I put my two toggle switches. One here, and one there, and they are lighted. Like I said, it was green. Not as green as I would like, but they work. Alright, so lift the hood up here. Show you what we got going on. Some of it. And it's kind of a messy system. It didn't end up being as clean and neat as I would have liked, but I have a strip here. And then the same one on the other side. Strip here. Strip here. Some of these, um, the, the, the sticky tape that was on them wasn't enough, so then I used some contact adhesive to make sure that they were good and stuck on. And then there's one in the nose hood there. I have my battery wedged in there. Up in the nose cone. Some of the wiring is just kind of hodgepodge together for now and then. That way, if, if I have any issues, it's easier to diagnose and figure out. And then we got a light here for the ski shock. And then the same on the other side, over there. And then we got lights up under the tunnel. And I made a U-shape with that. Good angle shot of it there. All the way around down and then it goes up the other side <clears throat> with the the wires and then the, you can see the wires there so they are out of the way of the foot I'll probably put some of that black um, coating or not black coating that that plastic stuff over them and then I have it running up here going over to that way over here so I have it broken down so the Ground effect lights on the ground are on one switch, and then the hood lights are on another switch. Okay. So you got one, two. Nice and green. Love it. Can't wait to see how it looks on the snow. <clears throat> one of my assistants. Okay, oh, there's that. And then coming up here, it's going to be kind of hard to see during the day. Um, but you can kind of see the green glowing there. And there. And then here, I like how it accents just the one vent. That's kind of what I was going for. I wanted both, but wasn't quite sure how to get that to come out quite right and then I'll probably do a separate video at night with the snowmobile in the snow so we got some more snow coming this weekend too so I right, need a new seat cover that I do And it'd be nice to someday have a new switch. Someday. 
All right, here's some nighttime video of the lights. They are awesomely greenness. Love it. Boy, oh, yeah. it's awesome. Perfect. All right. Well, that was my 2000 ZL 440 with the underglow or ground effect lights on it. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.